I know. You guys want to watch us sleep? This is Kim. And Amanda. And we are here on location at the fabulous Millennium Broadway Hotel and Casino in New York City. Um, that's a full house reference. We decided while we were here in town to do a little relaxing review of the brand new XO Flow from our bed. From our bed. Yes. We both tried it out for last cycle and we definitely have thoughts to share with everybody. Um, the biggest thing you're going to notice just looking at the cup is it's very round. Mm -hmm. It's not that traditional tapered shape. Another thing about the cup is that it doesn't have a traditional rim. Which, which usually protrudes, which you can push on your bladder. This does not have that, which is really nice. So we feature. would call this a nice rimless cup. There mm -hmm. aren't very many rimless cups it on the market. It sort of has like an interior rim, which helps with the pop factor, but it does not bulge out. And it has a nice flexible stem. So if you want to show everybody this nice flexible stem. And what they've done is they've added these little balls. So if you were to clip it here, you still have a round ball. Mm -hmm. Um, same if you clip it down again, and for me, I clip it all the way off, but I did try same. each level. Um, so if you do need a stem or you feel like you need a stem, this is a nice cup because it's very flexible. And I don't think you can see it probably from this view, but there's sort of a, a firm ridge inside the cup that goes this way in a circle and then this way in a circle, and it crosses like an XO. XO. <laughs> I just had like a cup an epiphany. X <laughs> and an O, like no. XO. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> it's sort of like a little butterfly. Anyway, but that helps the cup pop open also. Yeah, it does look a lot bigger than a lot of the menstrual cups you've probably already seen, a little intimidating. It does, and even as someone who has used a lot of cups, I at first thought this was a pretty large cup, and I was like, I don't know, it's really big. But surprisingly, it's incredibly comfortable, and I didn't feel it like hardly at all. And I say hardly at all because I left the stem on to try it to see how I liked it. And again, I always chop my stem off, but I barely felt it. So, and I think part of that's mental. So I think we should go over some of the pros and the cons okay. of this particular cup. And the first obvious pro is just for me, it's very easy to insert and get to pop open. It's a pretty easy cup to clean, I thought as well. Um, there's nothing really that it gets like under the rim sometimes, some of the cups can, can have issues there. Yeah. So one of the really great things about the size of this cup is that it has a great capacity. It's about 38 milliliters, and that's a little over four tampons. So I think that's pretty darn good. Well, there aren't a lot of cups that go up to the size. So we're thinking Yuki is 37 milliliters. If we're thinking about some of the higher capacity mm -hmm. cups on the market. And then the large Super Jenny is a 41. And we just did a video about heavy flows, mm -hmm. and um, this one is, you know, pretty up there in terms of capacity, so it's definitely a contender. Yeah, and the air holes on this are right up here, um, just high. under the internal rim, so they're nice and high. So. We have sort of a mixed pro and con for this cup. It's kind of interesting. It is the only size, so you can only buy this cup as it is. Mm -hmm. There's no... A, B, 1, 2, A, B, C, medium, long, large, um, extra large. There's nothing except for this. So um, if you like the design but you think it's going to be too big for you or you don't need that capacity, whatever the issue is, then this is this is it. You know, lengthwise, it's really not that bad. It, it has a long stem, but I think it, it does have work. a long stem. But uh, it's not a terribly it's not long a, cup. No. Um, and the diameter, I mean... It's decent, so I suppose if you had a lower sitting cervix, if it dipped just inside the cup, I don't think that that would be a big issue. So I think it would work. I mean, I have some days where I'm fairly low and I didn't have any problems. So Yeah, I did, I, I did start with this right at the beginning of my last cycle, and that's my lowest day, and I was able to wear it. And I um, cannot wear a Diva cup unless it's flipped inside out. So um, I was able to get it up high enough and wear it comfortably that day. This is, I suppose, sort of a con, but because of the size, it does not fold down very small. That's pretty big, and even if you do like a punch down fold, I, mean, I guess you can get it kind of small there, but it's still pretty. The big punch back down here. was the punch down was the one that worked best for me on this cup. Um, but what I liked is that you really had something to push on at the bottom when you were inserting, and it seemed to pop open really easily. Oh, it does which, have a nice firm base. Yeah, it has a nice firm base. So if, I think most people want to hear about comfort. 
I found it comfortable. Uh, my only caution uh, <laughs> would be to take care if you do trim the stem all the way because the cup is, I wouldn't say equidistant, like it's not as long as it is wide. It's not a square cup, but it's close enough and so sleek and smooth that um, things could shift. Uh, things could shift a little this way or they could shift like that way. <laughs> Um, what are you getting at, Kim? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> getting at the fact that this cup moved a little on me, and more because of the way I inserted it, because when I trimmed this completely off, it felt like as I was pushing it higher, which with a firm base, it's a plus. Like, you can push the cup higher if you don't get it to open at the height you want it, so you can just kind of continue pushing it up inside the vaginal canal, get it where you need to go. Um, as I pushed it up, it went a little sideways, and it continued to turn as I walked and did that. So I've uh, never had that happen to me before. Never, had, never had it had happen again. Um, it was an interesting experience. I think that's best for another video for the full thing. But um, <laughs> once I knew that was a possibility, which never knew that was a possibility ever, ever. We've uh, heard tales, but I didn't like, I was like, what? How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've heard people say it happened to them. I'm like, hmm, how did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> But this apparently, is, that, well, with this cup, and I think, I mean, it's it's not tapered. It, it it has sort of, if you're feeling inside, like everything feels like it could be the bottom. So just keep that in well, mind. Well, again, if you've like really trimmed off the bottom. Here. I mean, like sheared it and right. smoothed it out with baby nail clippers or a file like some people do. I think I just did a really like good job do. of uh, trimming it up. <laughs> <laughs> would you recommend this to someone new? Would you recommend this to someone heavy flow? Like where, where, who would be a good candidate for the XO flow? Well, because of the comfort, I think, again, if you're an adult, um, I would think it's a good cup to try. It was really comfortable for me, uh, you know, being careful of the stem if you remove it. But for someone, a teenager or, you know, especially a you know tween or something like that, I don't think this would be the cup for them. I think it would be him. Yeah. Okay. Folding just does not get the point of insertion down yeah, it's, um, to a small, compact size, like some of the thinner cups. This is a yeah. nice, thick cup, and it means it really opens well and creates a nice seal. And it's not horribly firm so that it would be uncomfortable. No, it's just But thick. it is definitely thick, and I would be concerned about, because I know some people who have even used cups for a while that are very young, you know, still want to use lube and stuff like that, and with this size, I don't think that that would, I wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah, but the cup opened like magnificently for me. I had no issues whatsoever with it Same. creating a nice seal, um, being an effective cup, of course, I think leaking would be for yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't I have didn't any really issues. Have any leaks, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, except that one time. But that was a little different. <laughs> that was a little different. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that was uh, a full on like nothing. It's a good thing that I have a light <laughs> flow. I should say that it wasn't like a yes. Um, you know, oh, those, still. you know those buckets that fill at the playground. Like <laughs> you should reference our heavy flow video. Yeah, and be glad that it's none of that. <laughs> um, but to the new brand's credit, so I don't know if we we did not mention this is from the makers of Glad Rags. Oh yeah. The, the, people who make Glad Rags cloth pads, they used to distribute for a company called Keeper. Mm -hmm. uh, the Keeper Cup. They distributed them for a long time, and I love Glad Rags, the mm -hmm. brand and the company and their mission. And I yeah, they've got really... a lot of experience with that, which you can tell with some of these great features. And I think they really did think through all of the design, this mm -hmm. internal structure, so that it's nice and firm on the bottom. Yeah, they thought and it about keeps the it capacity. From being a hard cup, but it still pops open, which right. is a concern. Some people don't want a very firm cup because they find it uncomfortable. But generally, when the cup is softer, it's harder to open. So this design really remedies that. Right. I mean, it's definitely not a soft cup. It would never fall into the soft cup, but it's still, I feel, pretty average with maybe a little above average in terms of firmness. Um, and and I think that just anyone who's experienced that bladder pressure will appreciate the rimless design. Yeah. But, I mean, there's so many design features that you know they're a cup user and they know that they've considered all the issues and feedback mm -hmm. and personal experience with the cup that um, having a round bottom is nice for capacity because as mm -hmm. soon as you start tapering it, you lose the capacity. Yeah. Um, so you're getting much more capacity with that length than you would um, with a regular tapered bell-shaped design. Um, but, yeah, I think they did – an amazing job on their 
design and also yeah. on the packaging. It's I was going to say, I love really the packaging. Cool. I know it has nothing to do with the cup, really, but it's really beautiful. Um, they took the time to make this something that'll look nice on the shelf. And the name is I great, appreciate. and it ties into the design of the cup. So, like, all feels like it's coming home and tying together. It's just a fun cup, and... Um, it might, it, I mean, I don't think it's something that I'm going to use full time. It's just not, it did not work as well for me as my Goldilocks cup um, and the one that I'm used to and the one that I really like. So um, it did not convert me, but I don't really have any complaints. It's just one of those things like you like what you like. And yeah. I mean, I have, I would say I have two that I reach for a lot. I, again, I haven't tried this without the stem, so. It remains to be seen. Yeah. We'll see. And, you know, there's only so much you could do for a cycle yeah, as far true. as uh, menstrual <laughs> cup reviews go. So uh, reviews would be very few and far between. And, um, you know, there's always the chance that you could have something interesting happen while you're reviewing a cup. How about that? This has been our review of the XO Flow. And we will do other reviews, so look for those. But, you know. And they'll be better than this. You think? <laughs> because we'll have more than three hours of sleep. Oh, God. So we'll wrap it up. Wrap it up so we can see the app. So we want you Rally. to like, comment, and subscribe. And if Thanks. you have any questions, leave them down below. Alrighty. <laughs> Do we have to turn it off or can we just go to sleep? <laughs> can we film ourselves sleeping? <laughs> it's not You're creepy probably, at all. Uh, <laughs>